Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the alternator on a Honda. Here we have a Honda Ridgeline with a 3.5 liter engine. Um, this is 2006. Even though this engine is also found on Honda Pilot, Honda Odyssey, and also Acura MDX. Typically from 2006 up to about 2012. So the procedure is the same in all those models. Uh, it's a relatively um, easy job even though at first it might seem complicated and difficult. Uh, let's get started though what you need to do. As far as tools you will need a set of metric tool sets like a 12, uh, 14, 10 millimeters, some extensions, you'll need a breaker bar or a cheater pipe, um, you'll need a 14 millimeter wrench like that, a screwdriver um, can help as well and then some penetrating oil. So spray some penetrating oil and a few bolts before you get started. You have a bolt there. You have this bracket here. It's got some bolts. Go ahead and spray some penetrating oil just on these as well because they'll need to come off. Uh, if they can get really rusted and snap right off like they did in this case. And that bracket will need to be replaced. Okay, the first step will be to disconnect the negative battery terminal. You can see the uh, clamp right there. You loosen up the nut and then you just pull that and put that to the side. We put this on the charger because the alternator was no longer charging it and it, uh, it's pretty dead. Um, uh, the battery itself is good so that's not an issue. So if you can put it on the charger go ahead and do that but if not you'll need to jump start the car after you replace that alternator. So we come over here and you'll need to first do a couple of things before you even get started with the alternator part. Uh, right here we have this AC line. Uh, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there that needs to come off. It, it will give you a little bit of room here to loosen the tensioner and pull out the alternator itself. Down here we have the overflow reservoir. It's right down there. You simply pull this up and it comes right off. It slides right there on that side. You can see that those grooves, the channels on the side of it. Put that off to the side power steering pump you see this right here it's just pull straight up and then move that to the side do be careful with this hose right here don't get that damage you're gonna have power steering leak afterwards so once those two are out of the way this is loose the next thing we'll need to do is to loosen the serpentine belt before you take it off though take a picture look at it carefully see how the belt is routed because you're gonna need to put it back in the same exact location then you'll need a, a wrench. There's a special tool for it, but you can do it without it. Uh, you can see the tensioner right there. The bolt, you'll put the wrench, and then you're pushing this back like so. Uh, you will need a you need an extension to put at the end of this wrench if you're using a wrench, um, like a pipe, or um, you'll need a breaker bar and a socket on that. And then if you have a breaker bar, then you push back, as you push that back, the bell gets loose. You slide it out of this pulley right here. And then just move that out of the way. Next we come over here, and we're looking at the alternator. Right above it, you can see these are 10 millimeter bolts. And if you spray penetrating oil, ideally the night before, you'll have a much easier time taking these bolts out without breaking them. The other thing is once you take these bolts out over here we have um, the upper alternator bolt is a 12 millimeter bolt that goes right up there. There's another 12 millimeter bolt over here but that just secures this bracket to the alternator. So this lower, this front one you can keep on. This one that goes to the block, engine block, you need to take that one off. Come over here to the side. and. You can see there is a 14 millimeter bolt right at the bottom of the alternator. You can see that bolt right there. That will need to come off. Now the only issue there is that you don't have much room. Well, the ideal thing to do is to use a f deep 14 millimeter socket like this and a ratchet wrench. You'll need to use an extension first to break that loose um, or use the breaker bar again because that's not pretty tight. Um, and it could be rusted as well. But once it breaks loose, then it's easy for it to come out. Um, but you can see there, there's not a whole lot of room, but it's not too bad either. 
if you don't have a deep socket you can get it off with a, a regular socket but it's just you're not going to have much room and it's going to take a little bit longer to take that bolt off but that's the lower bolt now we're not ready to take the alternator out yet even though we have the bolts out up here Uh, we have the positive that connects to the alternator you lift up this cap and then you'll expose a 12 millimeter nut right underneath there and um, here you can just reach with a few extensions to that nut with a couple of extensions it's just easy so you can um, you know you, you don't have to struggle down here you come with extension all the way up above the engine and it comes right off so you will need a couple of extensions for this job really uh, will help you make it easy and of course uh, uh, either a cheater pipe or a breaker bar so that's off right there but there's one other thing as you can see on the back here we have the electrical connector that goes to the alternator pull out this cap a little bit and then over here press on this you can see right there you need to press on that and pull that out so you press on that okay and then you can move this cable out of the way just to remove the alternator and what you notice is that even though it's going to move up and down easily like this it's not going to be very easy to pull out so um, in this case we have removed it from the bottom part but it's fitted pretty tight at the bottom part of it so what you'll do is uh, we had one hand on the pulley um, and then one hand over here and we're just rocking this back and forth while we're pulling it up at the same time and you're gonna have to do that quite a few times it might take it like 10 times doing this back and forth back and forth and eventually it will come up but make sure you're pulling up as you're rocking it um, then you will take the new alternator over here you can see this is the bottom part of it um, it helps to maybe uh, put a really thin layer of grease on these sides um, and then when you reinstall it you kind of have to do the same thing where you will fit it back in there and you'll just kind of rock it and rock and push down and um, until you get that bottom hole there lined up and then uh, that's it get that bolt in once you get the lower bolt in you can put the uh, bracket up here and the two bolts up on top you see here this will, will go over there and of course you have that bracket over here um, because this doesn't go straight there it goes connects via the bra bracket that we have removed so one 12 bolt there and one 12 bolt here um, and then uh, you connect the electrical connector on the back put the cable there the positive make sure you put the cap back on and then put the serpentine belt back on again on the serpentine belt you'd come here on that pulley there you put your 14 millimeter socket now one thing to keep in mind is if you don't have a 40 millimeter socket at the center of the pulley it'll be off a little bit to the side over here um, down at the bottom that's where you would put that 40 millimeter socket and then push uh, back again that lifts up the tensioner that gives it enough room for you to slide the belt back on and do make sure that the belt is sitting properly so it's not sitting over like this because first of all it's just going to be really hard to get the belt back on that way but not only that but if you instead of the belt being like here if it's like this or like this you start the car and what will happen is they'll tear off this belt um, also if your belt is cracked or if it's just not been replaced in a long time it's time to replace it it's a good time because you be taking it off anyway but planning a couple of hours to replace the alternator on your Honda 3.5 liter engine it's uh, it's not a um, very difficult job um, the most important part is to sp spray some penetrating oil uh, the ideally the night before but at least like half an hour before you take those bolts off and also uh, you'll need either a breaker bar or cheater pipe a um, couple of extensions like two four inch extensions uh, ideally a, f a deep 14 millimeter socket for that lower bolt that uh, makes it a lot easier and you will need um, a 40 millimeter wrench or a shallow socket for releasing tension there's a special tool that Honda uses but it's not going to be worth for you to just go buy that if you're just doing this only one time 
Um, but that's it. Uh, very straightforward. And um, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, make sure to follow our guide below. We'll answer any questions that might come up. We'll update. We'll uh, include, you know, specs and things like that to uh, go along with this video. So thank you for watching.